So this work was made in 2012 and um, this work was made during a residency in Ireland in Limerick called Welcome to the Neighbourhood. And at the time I was working on the housing crisis in Ireland, and particularly working with um, an Austrian um, architect come designer, Frederick Kieseler, who was looking at how we could rethink building and how we could rethink home and the notion of home. And during this residency, I came across this Irish cottage that was abandoned. And it was abandoned um, since 1987. And the last person living there was a woman called Hanny Harty. And I managed to get in contact with Hanny's um, nephew, um, who was living in the village. And he then um, came into the house with me and he said, he said it was his first time coming into the house since she had died in 1987. So in a way it was very emotional for him to come back into the space and see the objects exactly as she left him like her shirt hanging on the wall and this you know this piece is named after what he said to me in the video he said like, oh yeah that was her bed she'd have no other so all the works are kind of named after particular things he said about his life because he had lived in the house um, with her and his grandparents so the work is all photographed in that house um, in Eskeaton which is now destroyed unfortunately um, and you can see it's a, a very, very modest two-roomed um, mud cottage, pretty much. You can see some of the mud kind of waddling through the, the walls with no running water, you know, no bathroom facilities, nothing like that. All the water was coming from the pumps. Um, but yet, look how beautifully she kept her house, you know, really house proud, beautiful things, you know, really focus on colour and objects, you know, that's why I just love this, this piece, you know, you can see how she really cared for her home um, and it's just in such a modest, um, in a modest environment. And um, the video that goes with the work actually is, is 10 minutes long and it is him talking through a little bit about his life as a traveller, an Irish traveller, and how that life has changed now because um, the traveling community have been forced to settle and they're now called settled travellers which is really quite a bit of an oxymoron 